I cannot find anywhere in the United States Constitution where it says that Washington, D.C. should be taking care of our health care or the education of our children. I, I don't see that anywhere. Uh, nor, I know what it does say. It says that the federal government is supposed to provide for the national defense and to secure our borders. And they have been abject failures in the latter part of that. We had a great military. Uh, the, the, I proudly served. Donna uh, was making me really feel old. And, and she said she was just barely born uh, in 1973 when I was going through pilot training at Web Air Force Base in Big Spring, Texas, and her dad was stationed there. And, uh, the, and I, I proudly wore the uniform of our country. And, and uh, such a fine and a, an amazing group of young men and women who serve us today. And, uh, and there's nothing that makes me prouder than to see them in their uniform, whether we're walking through an airport or whether you catch them maybe out on the street. And, and I hope all of you, particularly during this holiday season, but not, not just during the holiday season, but 365 days out of the year, that if you have the opportunity to pat them on the back, say thank you for what they're doing for us. They've been at war for 10 years. And the families of, of, of uh, those young people uh, have, have, have given a lot so that we can be here uh, in Derry and, and having a, uh, an event like this and enjoying the freedoms that we have. Um, and while our military serves with distinction uh, in, in their um, operations overseas, uh, Washington has failed to take the, uh, the most basic steps uh, in securing our border here in the United States. And, and, and I've been on the front lines of that fight, as Joe shared with you. For 10 years, we've been dealing with this issue, actually longer than 10 years. But uh, over $400 million that we've expended in Texas taxpayer money, Texas Ranger recon teams. Uh, I've sent the National Guard uh, into the, uh, to the border region to, uh, to coordinate with the local law enforcement and our Border Patrol agents. I mean, they do a great job. They're just outgunned and outmanned, and, and we need to have the, the resources that are committed. And, 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 you know, the fact is, we've done all of these things in Texas. Arizona has, has spent uh, their taxpayer dollars, but no state has the resources to be able to defend that border, to secure that border the way it needs to be done, to shut down the illegal activities that are going to go on. And it's going to take a president of the United States who has the will who has the courage, who has the wisdom, and who has the knowledge and experience to secure that border. And I'm, I've been a law and order governor. And let me tell you, I'm going to be a law and order president as well. And I'll secure that border. I have told people, I said, within 12 months of me taking my hand off of that Bible uh, when I'm inaugurated, that border will be secure and it will be shut down. It will be done. I'll just... Really, as, as the sheriff knows, I mean, this is not a complex issue. This is a matter of having the resources available and deploying the resources appropriately. It's putting thousands of National Guard troops on the border until we train up the Border Patrol uh, to the numbers that we need so that they can full-time be uh, deployed along that border. It's about having the aviation assets available. Uh, we have uh, those technological advances in being able to look down and give real-time information, whether it's with our Predator drones or with the other aviation assets that we have available. It's just a matter of the President of the United States directing those agencies to put those resources on that border and enlist the technological tools that we have available. And you can, uh, with strategic fencing in those high uh, traffic areas, those, those multiple approaches you literally can build a virtual wall that will secure that border and stop the, uh, the illegal transfer of weapons and of drugs and of individuals across that border.